This is not a Pokemon Center. This is a Safari Zone. Yes! I'm finally entering the big leagues. I am now e exiting from Safari Zones as part of the intro. Success. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. So before we go on and recap what happened last time, because obviously something big happened last time with our team, here's what it's looking like. So now, meet Heracleason. The Heracross, if you ever watched One Piece before. So, uh, I did carry him up, and I battled, like, several rematch trainers off screen. And, uh, now he's got, well, he's pretty much got the same moveset anyway. Uh, Heracross doesn't really learn that much from, you know, leveling up. It takes a while for Heracross to learn some, you know, moves. But I feel like I'm good enough with this set. I feel like. Also, I know I said we're done with item slay, but... Eh. <laughs> I don't know. We have a lot more areas coming up that require, like, cut or whatever. So, yeah, we might as well keep item slave around because, you know... Item slave's a good HM slave now. Yes, now she is being prom demoted to HM slave. Anyway, last time... We went through the Safari Zone, got ourselves the new Heracross that I mentioned previously. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all we did. So today, we are off to Mount Pyre because, well, we heard some Team Magma Goons are running about, as well as Team Aqua Goons from the people. So, we might as well do that. Oh, and also, also another thing, as you kind of saw in my inventory... I have a Sunstone now. Well, I think you can pretty much figure out how many Soul Rocks it took for me to get one. It took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Soul Rocks in order to get that Sunstone. Yes, that is an actual thing that I did between episodes while I was training up Heracleason. And, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to get it on stone the kind of sort of easy way. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go across the ocean, I suppose, lake area. Route 122. So this is where Mount Pyre is. Basically, the equivalent of this game's uh, Pokemon Tower, as it were, where all the Pokemon lay to rest here. This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. Did you come to pay your respects to the spirits of departed Pokemon? You must care for your Pokemon a lot. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh, and also, um, there are wild Pokemon here. Just to let you know. Oh, and by the way, cleanse tag. So that item will repel wild Pokemon. Basically think like a free repel for your Pokemon, even though I already have repels. All in bulk, of course. Uh, super repel, yeah. But I figured I might as well, like, at least try to go over some of the Pokemon that you can find here. At least. While we fight these guys. Because, well, trust me. We want to see, like, Herac Heracles in an action, so... Might as well let Skipper do the thing. Alright, so hey, are you searching for Pokemon? You came along after me. You're rude. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I have a right as an American to go wherever I want, but, you know, America doesn't exist in Pokemon. There's only Unova. Anywho, as we battle these two, basically the only two, po two given Pokemon that you're going to be finding in... The whole entire place of Mount Pyre, or at least the inside of it, because we're going to be going outside later on, is Shuppet. You do the math if you want Shuppet on your team or not. But, basically without its Mega Evolution at this point, which I believe it was given in X and Y and not Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Eh, I honestly wouldn't go for it. Like... It's a ghost type, so I guess if you wanted a ghost type on your team, then go ahead and be my guest if you want to. But, uh, you know, it's not bad. I just never use one. 
Now, this call, on the other hand, I have used before. Yeah, I'm terrified! Yes, you are. This call, on the other hand, you might find some use of it. Even in this generation, maybe. Possibly. Um, the only thing, though, is that if you want Duskull to evolve into Dusclops, you're gonna have to wait a little bit, because I believe it evolves in the level 30s, which, at this point in the game, you're finding, like, high level 20s, early 30s. Shouldn't take you that much longer to evolve it, but, unfortunately, you can't really find any, like, wild Dusclopses at this point, though. Plus, uh, there's no Dusk Noir in this game, unfortunately, so... Eh. So, I guess those are basically the only given po ghost types that are kinda sort of worth a damn. Because, trust me, if even if you really want, like, Sableye, which is a ghost dark type, meaning no weaknesses at this point in time... I think... Maybe, possibly, you're better off... Uh... Looking at... Some other Pokemon for your decisions. Also, a young couple on a date in a graveyard. That's that's something. Hey, everyone has their own tastes. Like, everyone has their own given tastes on where to go for their dates. Like, if you want to go to a graveyard, you know, that's I I, I ain't judging. Actually, I will judge. Why are you <laughs> Why are you freaking going to a graveyard for a date? That makes no sense whatsoever. Why? <laughs> Whoopsie! And the funny thing, thing, and the funny thing is, you'll never hear what the girl says for her encounter quote. How sad! But what's not sad is we got an Ultra Ball, so that's cool. And I didn't save got an item. Great Ball. Okay. I mean, during my freaking practice session, I mean, you had freaking proteins twice in a row at this point. But what are you gonna do? What are you going to be doing indeed? Um, um, none of the- this area is not really required for anything. Like, there isn't really any purpose to going here. But, if you want, like, a whole lot of awesome items, you'll probably want to go here anyway, so... Yeah, and I might as well take the double battle route. Ha 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 ha! This place is no place for children. At least all of you! What are you talking about? You're like ten. Why have you come here? Because there are bitches and I need them. I would like to see your Pokemon when they grow up some more. Please, I need to see your Pokenav. So you can immediately add me to the Pokenav, even though I have no permission from you. Okay, that's that's great. Thanks, success. Alright, so I can support you, Metal Gear! Alright! Super Repel. Pretty good. Pretty good for an atom. But, uh, now I'm gonna fight you anyway, because I need to fight everyone. Because I am just in that need of getting stronger. Because trust me, the next gym leaders are gonna be hell. Precisely three assets later, and those two Ralts and Curly, I don't know what hit them. Indeed. Alright, so now she loves things all horrifying, it's like a disease when I'm here, I shiver with fear. Losing, you dislike. That's why you used curse on me, wasn't it? So you could kill yourself. Like, seriously. Don't you just like that, how ghost Pokemon have that move, curse? Which, basically, like, if we ever ran into curse before, you probably saw that it was different for not ghost types. Also, this guy's calling out to his teacher. Is he dead here? Yeah, he's probably dead. Anyway. If you ever saw, if we ever saw, like, a curse here work differently, um, it was the fact that curse works differently for ghost-type Pokemon. For every, for every other type of Pokemon, it lowers speed. Meanwhile, it will raise the attack and defense. However, for ghost types, it cuts the HP in half. However, it will inflict, afflict the Pokemon, the opponent, with a curse. Mean that one quarter of their health is basically, uh, you know, whittled down. Take down, not really too interested. Um, so, yeah. Teacher, please forgive me. Yes! Call out to your teacher who may or may not exist. 
Precisely. Uh, oh god. Okay. Double battle! Yeah! When I'm here, a curious power flows into me. Have you lost your bearings? I have no fear, for I am here. Ah, I forgot why my British. F you, F you, F you. I lost the match, but I have this little ability. Without ever laying my hands on your Pokenav. Hiya! We just freaking chopped my Pokenav in half. Thank you. And somehow that didn't break. Like, that that's actually amazing. Like, how did you even manage that? But for your efforts of climbing the inside of Mount Pyre, you get TM30, which is Shadow Ball. Unfortunately, this is before 4th Generation decided to make it a special move. So instead, it's a physical move for some reason. And only Item Slave can learn it. Of course. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, uh, you got more rewards here. You got the Lax Incense. Want to take the bottom route, I believe. And... Over here is a sea incense. And go down even further, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Like, nothing worth of value was lost in that. Like, honest to God, it really wasn't. Did he stop snoring? Seriously. Yep. I always have my dog beside me in recordings, just sleeping. 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 Either way, here we are at the outside of Mount Pyre. And I would like to apologize to this version. I want to apologize for this version because the Mount Pyre remix and the remakes are so much better. Not to say that this isn't a bad song. It's just that the remix is better. Like, <laughs> sometimes, like... Even after listening to most of the remixes on my own, like, they're good songs, yeah, but the remixes make them, like, so much more memorable to me. Like, I don't know why, but, you know, it just is. It just is. That's just my onion, and no one else's onion. Like, seriously. If you have onions, then you are a terrible person on the internet. Anyway, a lot of these items on the gravestones, like, am I feeling bad for taking what's essentially, uh, what's essentially a trainer's and basically adding it to my collection? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that there are, there is mist. And you know what that means? Aqua dudes. Too bad for you. If you came earlier, you only would have had the battle to battle blah blah team magma. So since you arrived here now, you have to take on us toughies. Toughies. All right. So we got team aqua goons, and once again, same verse, same as basically a hundred times. All they got are the zubits. The Poochianers and the Carverners. Seriously, like, what? What even is the point anymore? Like, <laughs> what's even the point of explaining these guys? Like, all you really—that's all you really do. See, the newer Pokemon games have basically spoiled us on the fact that Team Skull uses a large variety of Pokemon, and also uh, Team Flare, also in X and Y. But seriously, though, like, what's even the heck? What even the heck are they anymore? Like, why are they even? I just don't know. But either way, um, I'm sending out Pinchy here because she hasn't gotten a chance to fight, like, yet. So we might as well give everybody the chance. I have, I have a strong implication of... Of, of, uh, having everyone join in the fight because, well, that's what they do. That's what they're intended for. I thought you were one of the magmas who happened to come back. Um, I'm wearing green. Thank you. Um, I am not some petty, 
petty magma goon. I am just some petty. Oh god, I just realized I am not gonna get access there until I beat them all. Okay. That is fair. Hyper potion. Okay, cool. Cool you. Alright, bringing Heracles and out to the front. You, we saw you at Mount Chimney. You don't belong in either team, so why would you be here? Yes. Oh, I know. You tried to turn D Magma, but they wouldn't have you because you were green. Well, don't think we'll let you join our team, Aqua. Well, if you read the manga, <laughs> if you read the manga, then you would be in no doubt aware that this trainer's name is Sapphire. Sapphire has to do with blue. So, can I join your team? Because I clearly have the name of something that is blue. So, I... Actually, I don't really... The name is made, but whatever. You get what I mean. You get what I mean, indeed. Oh, and uh, by the way... Speaking of that whale murd there, by the way... You're going to need one. It might sound ridiculous, but you'll need one. We will be catching one later. Just note that you'll need one. Anywho, uh, let's get out these, uh, oh yeah, I, oh yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. They don't just use Zubats, Caverners, and Poochieners. They use that poke that much Pokemon, as well as Whalmers. And... That's about it. <laughs> I swear, that's about it. If they use any other Pokemon, then I will, like, bite myself in my arm. If you're going to mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma. Uh, how about New? If you want to join Team Aqua that badly, we can consider it. Yeah, I would love to work with one of the bad guys. I always wanted to work for the Empire, and I would be happy to serve Eggman anytime I want, but yeah, I don't know, mumbling. Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The Red Orb preserved at Mount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. Hoo 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 hoo. Now we can bring our ultimate objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the blue orb, but even the red orb has been taken. The red orb and blue orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with the two orbs? Oh yes. Was it Team Magma who came and took the blue orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I can't imagine... I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it'll be useful in some way. Only in Emerald can you get that. So, pretty soon we're about to head into some new territory. The blue orb and red orb taken by those sinister men. They must never be apart. I fear something terrible will happen. Mount Pyre is where the comms of spirits of Pokemon have been passed on. This is a high place for one to see all of Hoenn. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear out my tale? A tale long told in the Hoenn region? It happened long, long ago. The world was racked by a ferocious clash between the Pokémon of the land and the Pokémon of the sea. The Pokémon of the island of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokémon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in a massive infernals and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end to the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and become the enraged adversaries. The pair, made docile, dove deep into the sea where eventually they disappeared. 
And you say nothing else. Just the lore again. Okay. So, it appears that Team Magma and Team Aqua have something to do with the orbs. What will they do? We'll have to find out next time. Except next time we're not really doing any plot, just more exploration. Yay. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness though, so next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be heading out to a new route. Probably don't have anything to do with the story, but we might as well do that anyway because this Let's Play can't go on for long enough, right? <laughs> okay, so I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.